everybody welcome back to my channel today i have woken up in melbourne and i'm super excited because this is a, sadly my last stop on my tour of the east coast but i am super excited to be here because it is such an iconic and major city so i have about three full days here and then i have to get an overnight bus back to sydney which is going to be a bit grim but i'm going to maximize my time here i'm super excited to explore the city and do some really really incredible experiences whilst i'm here so I am currently staying at the Selena in St. Kilda and they have kindly gifted me a whole private room which is honestly so needed right now because I I've been very tired this trip but like I have not stopped so honestly this bed I slept like a baby last night like honestly it was so so lovely if you haven't heard of the hostel chain of selena like they're actually really big in south america and i was lucky enough to stay with them in brazil and they are just like amazing hostels so they're kind of like a tier above in terms of like they're not really like a hostel as such it's kind of a blend between a hostel and a hotel absolutely perfect for like digital nomads or people who are working on the road they have like co-working spaces they have a restaurant downstairs they have activities going on all the time and you get these really cool like wristbands as well i have stayed with them before and i've absolutely loved my time which is why i'm super excited to collab with them for melbourne so this is just a standard private room obviously with a bed it's got an ensuite behind me i'll do a full tour in a sec but yeah yeah, basically i knew i was gonna love them anyway but like honestly just like collapsing into this last night after my flight and just feeling very very tired i was super super happy they also have so many activities on so i'm actually gonna go and see what i can sign up for and basically go and do as much as i can whilst i'm here super excited for all of this and yeah I guess we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna quickly show you the room and then go down for some breakfast. So obviously that's the door which you come in, you have a lovely little mirror. And then this is the bathroom. It's literally just like perfect for like just me staying here. So obviously you got a fully equipped shower. Like honestly, doesn't this give you hotel vibes? Like, but you're in a hostel, this is a hostel like insane and then I, I know i've got <laughs> my pizza left over from yesterday but like there's a wardrobe space and obviously then the bed again all my stuff but there's obviously a desk and a sofa and less less nice view but this is really cool i really like the decor so yeah right let's go grab some breakfast <laughs> Guys, I've had breakfast now and then I signed myself up to the Pilates class which is apparently for runners and bikers. I'm a swimmer, but who knows? I don't know. <laughs> so guess I'm doing that. Thank God I brought some workout gear. I've never actually done Pilates, I can't lie. I'm um, not sure what to expect. I just signed myself up because like I just feel like I need some help. I have not really done like exercise in a while so <laughs> i just feel like today i want to like feel good and get ready because then later i think i'm going to try and like do a bit of work in the co-working space just because i've got so much to do and i've been terrible like if you were following me on instagram like you'll know i'm so terrible at putting my stories up so i need to do that and i have vlogs to edit and things like that but yeah like i'm very very excited for this class and i hope it's good and i hope i'm going to feel really really good about it. I have just finished my Pilates class and as I said I've never done Pilates before but honestly that was so much fun I feel so incredibly zen after that and I feel like I actually really worked out like my, my arm is hurting I can't lie so that was so much fun I'm so glad that I did that now I think I'm gonna head downstairs I think I'm gonna grab some lunch from the Selena here as well my food is actually very reasonably priced it's between like 10 to 20 dollars um so that's like what like 5 to 12 pounds it's pretty reasonable so I'm gonna grab a lunch and then i'm gonna head down to the co-working space because i have so much that i do need to do and i've been burying my head in the sand about it um in terms of like editing and things like that so i'm gonna go and do that now and i'll show you the co-working space and yeah i'm very very excited to use it i finished working uh, on some like admin bits in life at the co-working space in selena and that was really really cool and now i'm just basically out for drinks with my cousin who i haven't seen since noosa 
So very, very excited to see him. He's now living in Melbourne, so I'm excited to catch up with him. And yeah, we're just gonna have a few drinks. Not really sure what I'm doing tonight, to be completely honest. We're just gonna see where the night takes me and go from there. So last night I went to saw my cousin, which was super, super lovely. I had a really, really nice time. Just basically had some drinks and then called it quite early just because there's not literally nothing going on. And then to be honest, I just went to bed. So it was very exciting. But today I've woken up and I'm not really sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't lie. It's just one of those days where like I just don't really know what to do because I'm just solo traveling. I haven't really made any like friends, I guess, at the hostel because I've been staying in the private room. So... Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. I've signed up for the Pilates at four again, so that's exciting. But yeah, up until then, I, I don't know whether to just go and work because I've been doing quite well and I quite enjoy the co-working spaces for Lena. And like, yeah, I just don't really know what else to do. So yeah, I'm just gonna make apps to go along. I think I kind of want to walk around St Kilda just to explore the area, but yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> Officially my last day in Melbourne. I'm sorry for not vlogging yesterday. I had a bit of a life moment, can't lie. So I just went and basically spent the day working and then took myself out to Nomads just to see if I could have a fun night out. And then I did. And then I went out and now I've had four hours sleep and I'm going on a, a Great Ocean Road tour, which is super exciting, but obviously haven't had any sleep, so I'm actually knackered. So yeah, I'm like obviously excited. And it's my last day going around Australia like this. So excited, but tired. <laughs> And then I've got an overnight bus later, it's just hell, but here we are. That's travelling live. So our first stop on the tour was this like chocolate place where I got this little tiny pot of chocolate and I had some breakfast and I'm feeling a little bit more alive. Now I've got my coffee, life is good. Let's keep going. It's annoying because the weather's supposed to be really nice. Like even on the forecast, it's still saying it's going to be nice. But what is that? What is that? I hope the sun comes out. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> beach and apparently this is the start of the Great Ocean Road. Don't know how true that is but here we are. The weather's not improving there but it does look like it's improving back there so maybe the good weather is following us. So I'm hoping it is because I have actually got my bikini on and I did kind of want to go for a swim but it's actually just a little bit grim now. But look I'm squinting it's actually getting a bit bright so things are looking up. I'm very excited for the rest of today and just to explore this amazing coastline just because I know as well, like my mum really, really wants to do it. And so I really want to send her lots of photos <laughs> of while I'm here. So yeah, happy, excited, all the above. We stopped off at like a really cool lookout point on the way. Um, that was like a sensational view, like literally what you see in like Instagram photos. And now we have stopped at Apollo Bay that view. I just got a nice little salad. I'm just gonna sit by myself and enjoy my own company. Just feeling like that today. So I'm just very content, you know? So, which is nice. We yeah, have that looks banging. I'm so happy. So 
you guys we basically have been around and basically carried along the road and now we're at this point over here which is cute um i've actually forgotten what it's called but the next stop is the 12 apostles and i'm super obviously excited to see that because that's literally what i've done this for i'm super excited for that because that's exactly why i wanted to do this tour so yeah i'm very very excited i mean the views here are literally insane like you have to do this if you come to melbourne This is the 12 Apostles, which is obviously the most famous thing on the Great Ocean Road. This is what I came to see, so I'm super excited. It's getting quite late in the day, so the sun is setting, but I'm still very excited and I hope the view is spectacular. <laughs> 